You know, I wish I was using this right now. Frying, frying me up some catfish, skinning it, cutting it up into fillets. But I haven't gone fishing with the right bait. You see, I was just using chicken breast and sprinkled on a little bit of garlic powder. And you know, I got bites, did okay. But I got some good. I got a quick homemade catfish bait recipe that you can use and it will completely slay catfish. It will destroy them. You'll be able to cut up so many fillets of catfish, it'll blow your mind. So what you're gonna wanna do, head on down to the Wally World, to the Walmart, Buy yourself some chicken breasts. Doesn't matter if it's with the rib meat or without the rib meat, you need you some chicken breasts. Right now, I'm only gonna cut up, we'll say like two, two of these bad boys. Right here, right here. So let's go ahead, get going, chop up some chicken breasts. This bait's only gonna cost you like, whatever the uh, price of the chicken breast. Honestly, you can find some thin cut chicken breasts for like six bucks. This one I spent $7 on and that, that's not bad like at all. I'm gonna rinse this chicken off. Let's go ahead and cut up our breast pieces. And do, you know, bite-sized chunks for the size fish you're trying to catch. I mean, got some here that are kind of big, but might catch a decent sized catfish. Do some pieces that are gonna fit nicely on your hook, you're not gonna slip off. Down here in Texas, we like to call these bad boys chicken titties. <laughs> I like these size chunks because they're gonna fit beautifully on my team catfish, size four circle hooks. Now that we got our chicken cut, next step we're gonna do, olive oil right into the bowl. The olive oil helps with this next part. But here's why, you're gonna wanna get yourself five real pieces of garlic. Don't need to be fancily chopped. I don't even think fancily is a word. It has to be real garlic. Catfish love that stinky stuff. You got your garlic pieces inside here, right? Real garlic, you got your olive oil. We're gonna sprinkle this with a little bit of garlic powder. Now what next, you may ask? We got our secret ingredient, Kool-Aid. You might not think it'll work, but watch this. You will be catching catfish left and right. You want it to look like blood? I think I'm gonna do about uh, four packs. You're gonna want a little bit of water, right? You got a lot of Kool-Aid. You gotta cut, cut that Kool-Aid. You gotta cut it, you know? To give this a mix. Look at that. Already starting to look like blood. Now that's what the catfish wanna see too. Blood red meat, got that garlic smell. What more would a catfish want? Very important. 
going to take this over the edge. It's fresh chicken livers, right? But what you want to do, use the, just look at this. It's only $2.37. All you want to use is that blood, is that juice. The chicken liver juice. All the chicken liver juice. You know what, you probably could throw in a couple chicken livers too. Stir it on up. So I'm finna, I'm fixing to use this tomorrow night. You're gonna wanna marinate it, okay? You're gonna marinate it for a day. A day is a good look. You're gonna let that garlic, the chicken gizzard blood, chicken liver blood, I'm sorry. You're gonna let that Kool-Aid soak into the meat. It's gonna look neon red like blood. And this will catch you. This is guaranteed to catch you, them cats. Let this sit in the fridge for about a day. Oh, and we on, baby. All right, guys, that was my recipe for some of the best catfish bait, might I say cheap as well, that you will ever use. I'm telling you, you'll be catching catfish. They're gonna be biting on these suckers like that. Stinky, red, blood from chickens. What more do catfish want? I guess you could have cut up some worms and throw it and tossed them in there, but it's good enough for the catfish, it's good enough for me. More catfish equals more recipes and good eating. So I hope you guys go ahead and try this catfish bait out. Let me know in the comments if you have any uh, suggestions as far as in addition to the recipe. Let me know if you use the recipe and you catch some cats. And once again, I wanna give a shout out to Team Catfish for making great hooks and also to Reaction Tackle. This tackle binder is the dopest thing. The dopest thing. I don't, there's no more, no more carrying around a big tackle box with all my stuff. It's just here in a binder fashion. I got it ready to go. So go ahead and subscribe, hit that like button, smash that like button if you like this video. Let me know if you guys want more fishing content. Matter of fact, I'll even do a follow up video to this video showing you guys how many catfish I got. You know what I'm saying? Peace.